Hello everyone, welcome to this cold and dreary and kind of wet January day. If you know who I am and you're familiar with the channel and you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button as well. I am the Reverend Godfather, main host and frontman for the Long Coat Mafia podcast. Links to our audio show are down below and you're more than welcome to check out our other videos on this channel what are we here for today that's right the one thing that we've been doing a lot on this channel lately and that is an unboxing we got our latest uh, dungeon in a box box this time it is season three box eight plus I think this one also has uh, the current or one of the current uh, one shots that we put in for um, so as we open this up, uh, let me fill you in for those of you who are not familiar with Dungeon in a Box or seen our other videos. Uh, Dungeon, is in, Dungeon in a Box is uh, a subscription service. What they do is that right now they'll start you out off on Season 3, which is the current season, and continue to the end of the season from what I've been told in... Uh, at least the main fan group it's 13 boxes plus you have the ability to order any part of those particular once you have a box uh, or the one shots you could order the uh, the books the uh, skinny minis that come with it and everything else the maps so meaning if uh, you're uh, if you're a subscriber or you get the one shots which are perfect for um, uh, uh, your own homebrews, uh, in, or if you need uh, maps for your homebrews, uh, check out Dungeon and Box. They're pretty decent on physical maps. Um, so a uh, link to them. Hopefully I'll remember to put a, their link in the description so you can check them out. They sell a whole mess of uh, skinny minis. If you're somebody like me on a budget, uh, skinny minis are, their skinny minis are uh, a great way to go to help... Uh, uh, fill your campaign with creatures and whatnot. So as we open this up, um, like I said, they start you off right now on season three. It's 13 boxes. We're up to season eight, or say um, chapter eight, if you will. Uh, season three, chapter eight. Uh, we will be getting uh, chapter nine plus another one shot, maybe closer to the end of the month. So. Uh, Stay tuned for that. We'll be getting an animation leg animations legend uh, order again in in the next couple of days, hopefully. Um, I said they they come with what you get. You usually get uh, not just the skinny minis uh, and everything you need to run the box. Uh, you get a actual mini, uh, and I've been impressed despite uh, delays and some issues that they've had in the past. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, here, um, ooh, I didn't like that sound. I like that sound, I don't like that sound. Uh, we crack a box. Uh, we actually crack a box. Now, um, uh, like I said, they gave you, uh, I haven't opened up the, the actual minis, but, uh, to see the quality, but I've always been impressed on the size. And what they offer as a minis exclusive um, this time around it is for this box a chained mage and it is a clockwork sphinx uh, that is this right here and I like the detail on them um, and their packaging uh, by minis in a box uh, I don't know exactly if that's their own company or what uh, this is oh yeah this is part of the uh, one shot okay I gotta separate the one shot from oh, what the somehow we got a uh, uh, these like butterfly ties I don't know what that's for I'll we'll figure that out um, so uh, these must be for the uh, one shot. So uh, I'll I'll go through the one shot in a bit. Uh, and as always, with the dungeon in the box, we get a uh, 
Um, we don't get when you get a one uh, dungeon in the box. You don't get this box has been pa uh, boxed by Frank or uh, boxed by uh, Josephine or something like that. You get like a this box has been packed by a uh, an owl bear in a top hat or something like that. And this time, this box was prepped and checked by a zealous astral reaver. And that's that right there. Put that right there so it doesn't fly off. And now for the actual main aspect. Uh, this is the raid uh, uh, this month's theme, or uh, chapter 8 for me, uh, is a raid on the Library of Secrets. This is the book. They do offer... Um, a digital version of this chapter if you so uh, want uh, and that usually includes a uh, lore extra lore and uh, uh, music and the whole nine yards it, it's all digital copies of what is found in the box um, the also uh, for their skinny minis uh, put this on to the side real quick uh, they, these are the skinny minis that, it's usually a sheet or two of skinny minis. And this is the ones for this month. Yeah, that, what I took out prior was for the one shot. This is skinny minis. And they always come with, uh, uh, these, the stands that are, are needed for, uh, the skinny minis. Now, you can always buy extra uh, stands off them through their sister site, SkinnyMinis.com. But uh, since uh, over the months, I've gotten a whole mess of these. Um, I don't really need extras, so that's always a plus. But still, um, they fit if you have like a, a Season 3, Month uh, 7, you could always use those stands. Uh, for extra stands for month eight, uh, so at, you're saving money. But if you want a whole mess more, that they, they do offer up uh, these. I think they're like five bucks, you know. But still, they're cheap enough. Uh, they offer up uh, these extra uh, cards for the campaign. This time we got a the one who turns the page. And we also got a, a one for a character, I guess, uh, Run Steel uh, Quelline, or I'm not sure how you pronounce, would pronounce uh, that particular character. Put those right there. And they also provide these little, to uh, like a wax little pack of tokens and stickers and stuff they can use on the map. They also provide, um, put that there, um, 3D terrain. Sometimes, depending on what it is, um, uh, they'll include stuff like tables and barrels and boxes and stuff. Um, that is what this is right now here. Uh, what I found out with some of their, their stuff, especially some of their... Uh, uh, stuff like for, not so much their skinny minis, but uh, some of the stuff they offer up for the one shots are way too big for the maps. So uh, as much as I like these 3D campaigns or 3D editions, if you have a one shot, you know, repurpose the stuff for the one shot. That way you don't have to really worry about the size. That way, if you're making meaning if you're making your own maps. Uh, the size of the, their 3D stuff don't really matter. But if you're using their maps, it might matter a lot. And this is the current map for Season 3, Chapter 8. Um, I might have to show uh, one of my DMs because we're doing um, um, mainstream, uh, one of the mainstream Wizards of the Coast books. And it takes place in, the, in a college. And this might be a perfect thing for a library. Um, and... This is the library aspect of it, right here. I got to take a look at this myself. I doubt uh, it doesn't conform with what is offered, but it is a very nice library aspect. And the, on the other side, it looks like it is a, a school or a campus, or a, it doesn't look like it's a dormitory, but still. Um, 
what I, again, what I like about these snaps is maps is that if you're a subscriber, you can always repurpose these maps for your own homebrew, and you can buy them. So you could run these maps as uh, uh, these chapters as they one shot themselves, and or you could buy the maps or the skinny mini separately and use them for your own homebrew. So and it's a good idea. Some it might be a good idea to do so, uh, and I recommend them. Uh, if the cost is right for you, uh, check out their website, check out um, their one shots, and maybe the for some of you, uh, $36, $38 might be a little bit expensive on, on a per month basis, but still, uh, you're getting stuff you could set to the side, plus um, you could always buy extras and so forth and so on. Uh, let's put uh, this stuff back uh, so we can go through the one shot and see what is with that and put this back well, let's put the book back in next and now the skinny minis the holders and the cards and the quality control card let's deal with this uh the one shot that's everything okay uh this the the one shot we picked up at the time of uh, everything is uh, Lost Lands of the Lizard Tyrant, and this is the uh, in this pack is the book and the map, and let's see what. Of course, it's upside down, but. Um, that's not an. I'm not really complete nitpicking. That's just me being a nitpick, regards to uh, how they put it in the bag. Um, but and that's just one. Like I said, just one fellow is being somebody being a nitpick. I got to be a nitpick. I'm a podcaster. I'm a YouTuber. Um, the books themselves are relatively short. They do provide a um, in most cases a. Uh, a level adjustment guide on the digital aspect of things and yes you could always get these digitally um, so and I would have to read up because in regards to um, everything uh, because they included these mounts uh, pterodactyl mounts it's like uh, four pterodactyl mount mounts that you can use for the one shot um, and I am not sure how they work into the the one shot, uh, and therefore it's quite possible. Again, with these one shots and these mounts, it's something that you can, if you have a, a homebrew, you can get your characters to uh, fly around on a pterodactyl. How about them apples? And again, this is the, the one shot. They could be probably completed in a session or two, depending on how long they are. Um, this is uh, again the maps are double-sided so and this time uh, you have the good thing about these maps again you have a perfect uh, this time around a jungle scene and you have a quite possible a uh, cavern or lava scene right here like I said these are are wonderful things that you could reuse or get another one to use in a separate uh, so that way you don't have to wreck the uh, these maps and um, uh, everything else you don't have to wreck these maps you could keep a separate book for um, everything meaning uh, I have for a one shot that I got off somebody else I have uh, I bought an extra set of uh, skinny minis for it because they're uh, through Dungeon in the Box because they were perfect for that campaign. They fit in so well and therefore, therefore, if I get this back in as well, the map is just a wee bit, Just the, it's just the right size. I know it fits, but... Like most things, I can't get back in the package. That's what she said. Uh, 
<laughs> but uh, come on. But uh, like I said, I'll put it back in here because it fit. That's how it came. It'll keep things organized until weather gets warmer and I decide to uh, uh, put these in their own separate uh, book binder. Put that back in there. Again, I don't know why I was given these, uh, and it's these like little butterfly aspects. Uh, not sure exactly what they were for, but they were in in my box. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, they don't really seem to fit the uh, the the mounts or uh, I would again I would have to read the book for the one shot to see how the 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 mounts are earned. Um, Put that there. Uh, that's just the bag being wrinkly. I'm like, oh my god! Don't th don't tell me they're broke already. Uh, no, they're pretty sturdy. Um, this is the dinosaur because it's dinosaur themed. Uh, you get these decent sized dinos, uh, some small, one large, couple mediums, uh, two packs. Uh, the uh, the one shots cost maybe about twenty bucks, if twenty to thirty bucks, depending if they're running a sale or it's a pre-order. Um, again, they're perfect for a home brew. Um, if I if I were you, if you want, pick up two maps. You know, pick up the uh, one shot and pick up a couple extra maps because they're perfect for home brews. Um, if you're uh, like me, uh, a sub DM. Uh, when the main DM is taking some time off, or the main DM wants to actually play a campaign or play for a little while, um, the one shots are perfect for it. Hey, you're thrown in. Uh, Y'all wake up, uh, or make a character at this level, and we'll run with it for the day. And have I used these in a campaign before? Not yet, because uh, I like them in the box. Uh, <laughs> don't know why, but I love them in here. Uh, nice and clean. Uh, I know some of you out there who uh, like to paint these are twitching. Like, he keeps them in the box. Twitch, twitch. Well, you know, I got skinny minis. Why do I have to paint these? Um, maybe if I uh, uh, actually... Uh, had more room to display these I would actually have these up I might actually put these on a stand and kind of display them that way but for the most part I enjoy them um, I love these and if you love this video or um, like I said these are great for um, these campaigns the uh, dungeon about box one shots they're great for um, fledgling uh, DMs like myself or if you're new to Dungeons and Dragons uh, and you're don't really want to dive heavily into um, a Wizards of the Coast thing like a, a whatever it might be Icewind Dale or the whatnot this will help you out uh, Dungeon Box will help you out um, it might be a way to kind of get your feet wet without actually getting your feet wet, uh, if you can understand that. And that way you don't have to really worry about uh, spending 50 bucks. Yeah, uh, you can get the books cheaper on, on Amazon. Um, but for $36, uh, let's say $40 rounded up, uh, you get everything you need. Everything you need on a monthly basis. You get... Uh, um, minis uh you have a map you have a book and you get um, access to the digital aspect of of this and that includes all the digital the maps digitally uh, i think you get tokens for like roll 20 um, or of uh, things for virtual aspects um you have uh the the book uh for uh, your phone or a tablet uh, and plus it comes with music and that way you could add a little bit of ambiance to uh, your campaign and go that route and try to uh, be the best DM you can we all make mistakes I make mistakes uh, the DMs that I uh, I play with on a weekly basis even they make mistakes and they've been playing for years so don't worry about making mistakes uh, I do recommend this even if it is the one-shots they're wonderful. They're um, 
Uh, I do have some nit. Most of it is nitpicks, like the size of some of their uh, 3D stuff. Like I got a uh, one of the previous uh, one shots. The the uh, exclusive uh, thing that came with that one shot was way too big to fit in the room that was listed on the map. But but um, for a homebrew that hey you want to uh, have a portal or that particular uh, piece listed yeah use it you know uh, buy buy an extra piece that way you have it strictly for that homebrew um, that way you can keep the one shots in a separate thing uh, like I said um, one of my DMs and the folks I play with said hey uh, they didn't like the you know what their gripes were with uh, Dungeon in the Box is that it's small, um, the the books are small, the maps look great, but the books are small. Um, you can always print, uh, download the digitals, print them out, which makes things a little bit bigger. And um, I like that idea, and that's probably what I'm going to do at some point. Print out once I have all 13. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get myself a nice cheap uh, D-ring binder and print out each chapter uh, and kind of do lore uh, like the session zero uh, lore uh, book one you know chapter one uh, print it up the lore for chapter one um, and in the back end of it the, the a separate little holder for the map, the skinny minis, and the book. That way I could have the book on hand. Uh, or somebody wants to actually, I know it's metagaming, if somebody actually wants to take a look at the book, they have access to the book if they so want it. Or if they want to voice an NPC, they have access to that book as well. Um, and plus everything else that goes with that then do a section for chapter 2 and so forth and so on and all the way up to chapter 13 hopefully all 13 fit in a one day ring binder um, if not I do uh, season 3 part 1 season 3 part 2 do uh, six and 7 and 6 depending on how everything and uh, the one shot aspect similarly uh, put a dungeon in a box because I think some of you out there might giggle if I put it as D in a box. Uh, but that way, you know, Dungeon in a Box one shots or uh, uh, Wondrous one shots, book one, Wondrous one shots, book two, Wondrous books, one shots, book three. Um, will there be a season four? I don't know. Uh, I do know over the next couple of months, I will be getting the Kickstarter uh, skinny minis to go through and next couple of months I'll be getting the Kickstarter for a, another book that uh, hopefully will be coming uh, soon it's a bunch of it's a book version of maps and one shots and everything else um, let's see I'll also be getting uh, uh, the Dragon's Eye dice in a couple of months uh, so who knows what 2022 will be in the store for all of us, uh, whether or not I'll be opening them up here, like I do with Dungeon in the Box, uh, or uh, with uh, uh, Skinny Minis and everything else. So uh, I'll keep you all informed as things go by. Again, I'm the Reverend Godfather. If you want to check out our audio shows, uh, the links for everything along with our social media are down below. Again, if you like this video, hit that like button. It helps us out. Leave a comment down below. Talk about things there and everything else. Uh, check us out. Hit that subscribe button. Help us get to our 100 subscriber goal. And I'm going inside where it's nice and warm and edit this video. See you next video. Take care. I'm out.